sentimental favourite Peter Brock trail the pace setters, preferring not to show too much too soon. Hey guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video, a uh, Bathurst edition. And today's bad boy we have here is a Holden VP Commodore, the 05 car um, from the Mobile One uh, racing team. Um, this was the car that was driven in the 1993 Tui's Bathurst 1000 uh, by Peter Brock and John Cleland. Um, after qualifying 7th in the top 10 shootout, they had a very, very disappointing race, um, eventually finishing in 17th place. But um, we'll have a look at this bad boy right now, and uh, we'll have a look underneath straight away and jump straight into that underneath detail. And as you can see, as per usual, these are insane. <laughs> Uh, it's 18th scale by Classic Collectible. They are a limited nut built. As you can see, the number underneath the chassis there. There is only a limited run of these made. Um, I, I've had this for a number of years, so uh, well, like I usually say, I'm not sure of the availability of these any longer. Um, you may be able to buy these still brand new, or uh, you may have to chase them down on the second-hand market. Um, but but either way, this is a pretty, pretty cool-looking unit. I reckon it's... Uh, a nice, uh, the, the livery is very nice, it's um, a pretty good rendition, um, if I well, have a really good look at that, uh, all that livery on there, that's some really good details as you can see, details inside there, we'll open the driver's door straight away and, and jump into that real quick, and as you can see the details in there are nuts. <laughs> that is nuts it is really well detailed it's, in, it's amazing how they can get all this little detail on the inside of these cars it is crazy it's got the like the vents and the ducting and everything in there all the levers and everything seat belts it's it's really nice um, and the tires the, these tires are reasonably sort of softish too to touch you can see all the uh, brake discs in in behind those wheels uh, I think it's a very, very tough looking unit. Um, it's very well made. I think it's very well done. And we'll have a look at the passenger side. And I think it is written, I mean, this does manipulate like usual. If you've watched previous videos, you'd, you'd know the general idea about these cars. I think the, uh, the, the build quality of these are very nice. Um, you won't be disappointed if you do manage to get your grubby little hands on one of these. I think it uh, it does um, represent very well. It's got some great details. You can see all the rear demister details in that uh, rear glass there. It's uh, it's pretty cool. We'll have a look in the uh, in the boot and see what details we can see in there. And you can just see a little bit little bit of fuel cell details behind that. Behind there is a whole heap of pumps and stuff. It's really hard to get you in there to have a look at that but there is a there is a lot of uh, detail inside that boot but behind this unit here you, you can see these little pumps and, and hoses and stuff like that I think that's really nice but um, we want to get to the important part and that is the uh, the heartbeat and uh, it opens up really nicely it does open up with a good distance so you can really see that detail of the engine in there and when i say detail there is a lot of detail in there i mean it's got a, the strut it's got the correct bonnet hinges as you can see i mean imagine trying to put these on with these sausage fingers <laughs> it would be a nightmare i don't know who's putting these together but uh well done mate. Right? you're doing an awesome job uh these are, are very well done i think uh the detail and it's got like the carbon fiber on there it's uh, immaculate. This is fantastically done. I think this is awesome. But uh, we'll close this down now. But um, yeah, overall, I think it's a, a pretty cool looking unit. It's definitely, um, you know, definitely one of the nicer looking ones. It's, it's I think the uh, library of this is really, really blends in together. It doesn't, it doesn't, all these sponsorships and everything, stickers and everything like that are really nice on there. And that really suits the car. I, I, I like this um, livery scheme. It is really nice. And um, I think it's pretty pretty cool looking rendition of a Peter Brock car. So if you can get your get your hands on one, grab one for sure. I think it's 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 a pretty pretty cool looking unit. 
So yeah, all right, I'll wind this up. And uh, as per usual, I'll take some happy snaps of this bad boy. You can check it out in all its diecast glory. Um, I'll chuck it on the turntable so you can see it all without the sausage fingers being in the way. And um, obviously all these doors do to open as well, you know, if I failed to mention that earlier. Like the typical, typical sort of, it's not a sealed body, so all the doors do open. And uh, I'll take some photos of that so you can check that out. So once again, this is the Holden VP Commodore, the 05 car, as driven by Peter Brock and John Cleland during the 1993 Bath Tui's Bathurst one thousand. But not forget the beer sponsorship. <laughs> All right, so yeah, one eighty scale by Classic Collectibles. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, throw us a like. That'd be awesome. And uh, even subscribe to the channel. That would be fantastic. All right, guys, you take it easy. Have a fantastic day. Cheers, guys. Is the universe? It's it's the uni that's failed.